Well, due to the popularity of my first build, I've decided to use up my remaining bits and pieces, which has cost me another couple hundred quid on eBay with more bits and pieces I didn't have, for a second build. So, I've just come and got another piece of 12mm Chinese plywood, which I've got well strapped onto the roof of the Mini. Unfortunately, I didn't have any wick, uh, wicks, which is just around the corner, so I've got a three mile drive during lockdown. Fortunately, they are open. Building supplies are allowable. It's fairly secure. It's just a bit flappy, so I've got to drive carefully. But the uh, second build will commence imminently. I have great plans this time. Absolutely brilliant plans. So let's get this home and start on it. Well, here we go, back to square one. So I've got my 12 millimeter plywood. This is Chinese ply. It's got a nice, nice smooth grainy finish, nice dark finish, but I um, don't know how it compares to the previous type that I had before. It's currently measuring eight foot by four foot. I shall be cutting that down. I've made my marks already to six foot six by four foot. Like that, it will slide under my double bed, my standard double bed. It's not king size or super king or anything, uh, which is going to be necessary because my seven foot six um, one that I made last time is <laughs> stuck with no way of storing it away easily, and that would be in the way anyway. So I haven't got space for having two up. So this one's ready to. Um, cut now and then I can start laying it out. I have made all the plans and very very exciting they look too. Right that's that done. It's uh, all over the dining room floor but so this is my removed piece so a fairly substantial piece of plywood just that little bit to be honest and that still leaves me with a cracking large baseboard should make things far far easier for getting up the stairs round that corner and then round the corner at the top than the palaver i had last time as you can see i've already got my battens up here instead of going for brand new ones i raided my dad's barn for a load of tantalized wood so that will be stuck and screwed on here as a framework but that's a few days from now because the first thing I'm going to do is just lay out my planned track just to get some sort of idea of what the final result might look like and whether or not my paper plan my paper plan is going to be feasible look at that so that's what I'm aiming for Regular viewers will remember that my original catalogue, the 1981 Ticket to Ride catalogue, came with my very first train set, which was the Hornby R535 GWR freight set. This new layout is going to be a 1981 layout, so if it ain't in this catalogue, it ain't going on. Now, I'm going to start, obviously, with the 535 GWR freight set. And I'm going to add the R542 Duchess Mail Train set, which I have as well. And then, just so I haven't got two ovals, which are quite dull, I will add the R361 Siding Pack B, the R362 Passing Loop Pack C, and the R363 Twin Track Conversion Pack D. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this one up now initially but this isn't quite sufficient for what I want. I'm going to add a few more little bits of track to it to come up with my planned layout, my planned model railway, because we're then going to go on and start looking at things like these. But that is for later date. So I'll start by building the initial two tracks, two ovals with the track packs attached. So I put it together. So in black here, this is your original oval track pack A that you would get with the cheapest sets. So the 535 that I had. Now, we're just gonna use some poetic license. I'm not using the re-railer 
uncoupler, derailer, what have you, whatever it's called. I'm just using a normal straight section. Simple reason being, I've got one on order, it hasn't arrived, but uh, I don't actually want it on this layout. Okay, that's for something else. So I've just replaced it with an R600, the same 16.8 centimeter straight section. So track pack A, which is your basic oval, add to that, R361 siding pack B, this is the orange bits, okay. Then R362 passing loop pack C, that's the green bits added to that. And then finally the blue bits, R363 twin track conversion pack D added to that. So that's your basic oval with the first three twin track conversions. Now, if we have a look at what that looks like laid out, that's actually, oh, I'm running low on space here. I'm going to lean back, it's on a chair against the wall. Okay, that is what you're left with. So that's four foot wide, and I would say five and a half foot wide. So, um, not too bad, not too bad. So you can, you can have that on a relatively standard sized kitchen table okay now changing it slightly oh what i will add is if you were to do that with say the duchess mail train set which is a larger oval you would have those two extra pieces and you would have instead of these ones you would have 607 curves instead of 605s anyway that's that's not a bad layout actually that looks a good fun playable layout however i still had a few bits of track left okay which i wanted to use and to use up a sensible amount of that and give me plenty of position to use all my buildings and all the buildings that i bought so from the actual um catalog i bought the ones that i didn't have that fitted that made sense I would need to do something about these sidings. In terms of track, all I've bought is one extra set of points. But my design is not going to change greatly from it. Okay. The main things are there's going to be a siding that comes off here. So this is going to be there's going to be a siding that's going to come off here. This is going to be extended by one length. Okay, this main loop at the top, the outside loop is going to be extended by two lengths. I'm talking about the R600 16.8s. There's going to be another set of points added in there, and this is going to be straightened up. Straightened up. So what that will give me is three sidings, one for my two good sheds for unloading, and one double one for the engine shed. Okay, so this is all going to come together quite nicely. So I'll put that together and then I'll come back and talk to you some more. But the main thing is, you've seen what you can do just out of some standard track plans. So there it is, my new six foot by six foot 1981 catalogue layout. So I've got the original small oval with the three track packs and then an extra couple of points and some straights and what have you to make some sidings, some good sidings so that I can position everything on there. So as you can see, I ain't got enough room to video it. <laughs> but there we go, that's, uh, that's what we're looking at.